And here we are, our second day of streaming. We'll be streaming some Skyrim. We're gonna continue from where I left off. I've been starting the Legacy of the Dragonborn, basically dropping off all of the loots and things like that. And that's where we're at currently, is we're inside the uh, Dragonborn Museum. <laughs> so yeah, got some Dragon Priest masks, some claws, some Crusader goodies. There's a whole bunch of other items, but that's not why we're here at the moment. Let me just make sure. Yeah. See, look at that carry weight, 60. Oh, you carry too much. No, 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 no. I save. Greetings. Indeed. So, story with the hidden room under Dragonborn Hall. Oh, the Hall of Secrets. I had all but forgotten about it, to be honest. When we broke ground on the foundation of the museum expansion, we accidentally broke through into a sealed-off chamber that was built under the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. When I asked them about it, it apparently used to be some sort of panic room for Pelagius when he was in one of his more violent manic episodes. They sealed it off long before the rest of the wing and forgot all about it. I asked for permission to use the room as a bit of a secret storage vault in case Solitude was ever invaded. I would store the relics there and lock down the museum. They gave permission and I had the tunnel finished and access in the hall made. Well, could I use it as a private display space away from prying eyes? Hmm, certainly. I suppose if you are ever in need of a place to store items of a more questionable nature, that room would be ideal. I'll go ahead and outfit it for you, but I'll take a nobody asks, nobody tells approach to it, and you do with the room as you like. And I won't plan on taking any tours down there either. <laughs> I should have it all cleaned up for you by tomorrow. There we go. So the secret room. I'll just show you. So we can actually use the curator's guide to travel to different places in here. So if I go to Dragonborn Hall, so here we are. It's Dragonborn Hall, basically items and whatnot of things that we've done throughout our journey. You can see Alduin on display right here. Standing stones, which I would assume, since I got 13, I got the achievement that there would be more. No, there's not more. There's empty spaces, which bothers me. I guess it's the Thieves' Guild, even though our good buddy here is not part of the Thieves' Guild. And so this is what it would normally look like if we did not find the secret room. Oh yeah, and also the uh, wall back there. But, me being the curious kitty that I am, found it. We have the Hall of Secrets. Ladies and Jelly Spoons. And then here we are. So I'm assuming that by tomorrow, we're gonna come in here and this may be a bit a uh, bit better suited. Tomorrow. Okay, so let's see. I am looking for the Death Brand stuffs. Pretty sure, like I said, pretty sure it's on Soul's Thine. All right, so there is a location. There it is. Let's get to it. Let's go get ourselves some Death Brand goodies. Surprise, oh. mother... Well, just right off the bat. Okay. Eh, we got our lighting. Anybody else? Oh, and there's a dragon over there. Let's just come on over. See what kind of shenanigans we can get into here. Hit him. All right, so that's a good start. Ooh, in the chamber of secrets, we completed it. Now he's running away. Hit him with death brand, or not death brand. Well, hit him, dragon ran, not death brand. And now he runs off. Okay. Oh, dragon right there. All right, buddy, are you alive? This is the question. Yeah. Yeah, you're alive. Regular dragon, just level 30. In the water. Ah, didn't get the full charge on that. Come on now. 
And why are you running off? Two. I got an important text or something, I guess. It's like, oh, I have to, I have to take this out. Go travel out of here. Oh, it came here. Aha! You fool. Thought you could escape. Oh, now they're both here. It was at this moment that he knew. He f Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Jeez. Let's try traveling somewhere else that's not Skull Village. Where we might be able to uh, get some assistance if they show up and then of course figure out all right we're not here so that's a good start all right, so what's the deal why can't i use it that is an interesting question but i'm going to not spend all day working on that so let's go talk about trees and stuff the thing you read matter get quest objectives. You just have to use the little marks to find it. I think I ran into the same issue in my playthrough. Oh, well, it's ah ah, Dova with the save. All right, so there, that's what it is. It's just the little marks. There we go, Dova MVP of the stream. Thank you. So after we do this, uh, the Guild Green thing, and a Kapir Spring. We'll go back and we'll do all that death brand stuff. There we go. There we go. Chat to the rescue. So, heard something happened to the tree of the temple. The Gilded Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. Ah. So what's so special about this tree? To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim. Maybe all of Tamriel. Hmm. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. And, uh, what kind of weapon would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. All right, I'll get Nittlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. And, and cheers it's to you. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Okay, another thing I forgot to mention. So, I also, prior to doing this, and then while I was doing the beginning of the Legacy of the Dragonborn and stuff, I got some master destruction spells because I completed the little side quest inside of college with, I forget her name, she's the destruction monk, wizard, monk, why did I say monk? Wizard, mage is what I was thinking, but I said monk, because I'm dumb. Here we go, I have three master, or excuse me, four, I can't count. So a firestorm, a 245 point fire explosion centered on the caster does more damage to closer targets. It's basically just kaboom. Soul Invictus. This is a good one. Summons a blazing sun for 20 seconds, dealing 50 fire damage per second to all nearby units and reducing their fire resistance by 50. Upon expiring, the sun explodes for 150 fire damage. Woo, that's good. Soul of Winter, 60 seconds your frost spells, deal 35% bonus damage, and enemies within 20 feet have their frost resistance reduced by 35, but your non-frost spells are 50% weaker. I got it. I'm not planning on using it at all. Twisting Tempest, though. A tornado that deals 10 shock damage per second, plus 1% of the target's current health, max 20, for 25 seconds. You caught in the storm are dragged toward the center. So, the really cool thing is, you can combine these, 
as in you can just cast them at once. But the uh, problem I had <laughs> is that I cast Soul Invictus and Twisting Tempest at the same time in... There's a fort um, that's not too far from here. Graymore. There are a whole bunch of Imperials in there, and they were all like, oh. And so I just cast it both, and as soon as the cast hit and started, it crashed the game, and it did it consistently. But, whew. I did, however, cast the same combination on a dragon that I fought uh, somewhere. I forget where. And it didn't crash the game. But apparently having maybe 10 to 20 Imperial soldiers in this particular location and all that was just too much for the game to handle, and it ex exploded. But I'll show you the, uh, the spells uh, here in a bit. Because I'm pretty sure if I cast them inside, we might be okay. However, there's a couple of uh, potential dead people right here. So, let's just cast Soul Invictus on them. I'm going to dual cast it. The cool thing, though. Oh, never mind. It doesn't have a cool animation. Gotta charge it up a bit more. There it goes. <laughs> Body mouth. Hey, oh, whoa, we're getting shot at. Ooh, you are casting some big fireballs, but I have a bigger one, as you can see here. Okay, let's get our cyclone. Actually, it's twisting tempest, not cyclone. Cyclone is uh, something else. All right, twisting tempest. Um, as far as shouts that I might want to use, Unrelenting Force is, is the go-to. There we go. Sorry, Shadow Mirror, buddy. Oh, we're sucked in it. We're sucked in it. This is not good. Not good. Not good. I'm caught by spell. Let me out. Okay. Ooh, goodness. All right. I think some healing might be in order here. All right. Now, where were we with that tempest? Actually, let's let's throw both out. Let's just go for it. All right. Soul Invictus, twisting tempest. Because basically, if you catch the enemy in the tempest, and the soul is with them basically just traps them and keeps them just ugh, melting over and over. Howdy, Beth. How are you, my friend? I'm doing quite well. How about you? All right. There's the Hag Raven. This is going to suck for you. There we go. Melted. Just melted. Oh, and we're getting melted, too. Okay, so there's the combination. Boom. All right. And that's the Twisting Tempest finishing up. All right, there's our nettle, nettle Bane. Looking cool. All right, so back over to Whiterun. Yep, busy. Talk to me. Talk to me. We'll wait a little bit. Where are you going? <laughs> no. People don't want to talk to us. What is it? What has happened to the oh. Gilder Green? I have traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it, but it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. Goodness. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Yeah, found Nettlebane for you. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course I'm glad you did. Now... I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? I suppose I could. What needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Okay. 
Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Maybe. Can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. Um, no. 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 I understand. Some journeys must be taken alone. I'll be here if you change your mind. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel like getting another straggler. <laughs> Potty mouth getting ready to retire Skyrim. Really? You and me both, basically. Once I finish this series on YouTube, then Dunsky. I feel like 50-ish playthroughs is probably enough. <laughs> I feel you on that. I can uh, definitely understand that. Let's see, Potty Mouth, uh, you have any plans for another Fallout 4 playthrough now that the modding scene has done a bunch of work? I've somewhat thought about it. I was... Well, I don't want to say I was... I don't want to say I was disappointed in the playthrough I did, at least completely. Um, I wanted to do some different things, but, uh, you know, it's it's one of those, like, not not quite to the level of what we did Valkyrie, where that's the one YouTube regret that I have, if you will. But I've, I've thought about going back to Fallout 4, because I love Fallout. I love the Fallout series. Never touched 76, don't plan on it, so... That's not going to happen. But it, it could happen. It definitely could. I don't want to say no. I don't want to say never. But it could. See, Dova. Hope he's had to see you leave, so. Always been my favorite Skyrim player. Well, thank you. I understand Skyrim's beginning to lose its flair for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... The reason I'm still playing it now, obviously, is mods have helped to extend it. They've allowed me to do stories and stuff like that, but... If you have any questions... Yeah, it's time, time for something ask. new. I'm not leaving YouTube. At least I don't think I am. I don't have any plans to do that. I still like doing all that. But... I do think it's time to put Skyrim to bed. Let it sleep. Let it rest. I guess, I guess that's what happens after almost a decade. Yeah. <laughs> And Fallout 4 is a little bit of a, well, letdown for Fallout fans, but the modders have made some serious work on the game. That's good to hear. That is good to hear. Who knows, maybe I'll pick up New Vegas. I have played through New Vegas twice? Ever? Just twice? I own it. I just haven't uh, touched it in a while. Same with Fallout 3, though. Oh. That one. Fallout 4 was actually my first Fallout, says Potty Mouth. Wow. Oh, if you haven't played 3 in New Vegas, do it. Do it. New New Vegas is... Ah, Fallout 3 is... Ah. Chef's kiss to both of you. I'm actually in the middle of New Vegas now. Nice. Nice. Whoa. What hit us? Here it flies and all that. There you are. Oh. Oh. Back up, back up, back up, back up. I thought the game froze for like a split second. Okay. We got an extra perk point, which is good. Hey! Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? I do. I got it. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. Okay. Goodbye, old friend. Indeed. All right. So now we can head back over to Solstheim since Dova, MVP of the stream, as I said earlier, came through. There we go. Yeah, back up into it. Oh. Get the long drawn out. I'm just gonna let the spells do their thing. Oh! Jeez. This one's gonna just wreck the world, I think. At the world, I mean their world. 
Wait for it. Dodge, boom, and uh, yep, took him out. Lansky. Aha! Here we go. Treasure hunter, what do you have? Uh, nothing I want. Or Spriggan. Wait, what are you? Or Spriggan wood. Mm, eat it, of course. Bruh. All right, an ancient chest. I like that it's got like blood and stuff on it. That's cool. Oh, Boots, the death brand. Let's go. There we go. I think a double sun. And by double, I just mean. Reavers. I'm just gonna kinda draw you in this way. I want you to get hit by the sun exploding. I can dodge your arrows all day. This is easy. See? Nothing. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> there we go. That worked. And there's our treasure. I think there's a single thing I can teach him. <laughs> Jenna's saying all this. My Skyrim Master, good job with the tip, though. But yes, agreed. Oh, So here's my parents saying video game knowledge was useless. Prove them wrong. Yes, you did, Dova. Show your parents. <laughs> There's the armor. Let's see, did I ever play Hitman 2? Um, oh. Uh, no, I have not. I played the original Hitman 2. Well, that dragon just wants to fall. Okay. So now, let's get ourselves a double. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I just have my fortify health. That's not good. Alright. Just gonna let the sun do its thing. See you there. There we go. Alright. So here we are. A bush. Regontals. There's that dragon. Oh, this, it's basically where we were earlier. I'm gonna wait a little bit. X to doubt. Indeed. Indeed. Run. Run. Oh. Oh. Oh, we can. Let's save. Think, strategize, look around. Aha! Oh, you found the chest now, yes. Whoosh. There we go. Helm, water breathing, plus one, or plus one hundred armor while wearing a complete set of death brand armor. Let's go doosh. Explore the Hall Barrow. Okay, we shall do that. I have a feeling it's probably behind one of these. I have an ancient, or I had an ancient order pickaxe somewhere. What you got? Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I got to think, where is my pickaxe? And then we can travel there and come back here. So this guy's just got a regular pickaxe, so, okay. Check our chests, oh goodies. Ancient Nordic pickaxe, I told you. There we go. 
So level 50 is the next achievement. Ah! So now back into the Gyllenhaal Barrow. Let's... Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's probably in this. Oh, give me a second to get a bit of vapage. Oh, see? I knew it had to be behind something. I just happened to guess the right one first. Right, let's see what we got. I'm surprised he's not already carrying it on him with everything else. <laughs> I'll have you know, before we started, my carry weight was at like at 40 or 50, so take that. The fact that it's giving me a bunch of healing potions tells me it's like, oh, get ready to use all of these. That's okay. I think we'll be fine in here as he quick saves. <laughs> when wielding with soul render, absorbs 15 health and has a chance to weaken enemy armor. Nice. We'll get that here in a second. I just need to... Oof, our first dragon scale. Alright. Yep. Yep, right there. Yes. Feed him. Okay. I think we can do that. to it. came for. My audio turned all the way open so I could hear soap, and then an explosion happened. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. <laughs> and now you're back. Great. Just great. And what is it this time? Draugr again. I mean, we should have expected it, right? What else do you find in these damned crypts? Waves and waves of Draugr. At least six of the diggers are dead. The rest of them ran off, and I don't blame them. You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could go back in? See if anyone's still alive. Boom, he had to sneeze, and it was deadly. Oh, Jenna. Not to put you on the spot, but are you planning on putting any Cyberpunk 2077 on the channel? Uh, most likely, yes, I am. However, I would really like to upgrade my computer before doing that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it'll run, but, you know, just personal preference. Uh, will I be streaming it? That's also a possibility. I, I'm definitely getting it. That's that's just a given. I am getting Cyberpunk. As far as recording and streaming, I really, really want to upgrade my computer before I do all that. That's the plan, anyway. I mean, even if I don't have a com an upgraded computer, I'm still going to get it, and I'll see how it w runs. And if it runs in a uh, way that I feel okay presenting it, then, then we'll go from there. All right, so we gotta speak to Rallis. Any news? Well, all your miners keep dying. Feed it to Draugr. 
I should have figured. Damn. Well, at least we can get back to work. But hazard pay keeps piling up, and this won't be getting any cheaper. I'm going to hire some mercenaries this time, too. Having some people around who know how to fight should. Well, it'll set the miners at ease, and hopefully keep them alive. But they won't be cheap, either. It's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Have you got that on you? Yes, yes, here you go. This had better be worth it. We're going to be making this back 50-fold, partner. Trust me on this. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types to keep them safe. Come back and check in on us. Nothing can stop us this time. All right, so we got to wait for the message from him, of course. So now, let's go back to museum Come on. So now we have some items we can drop off we can show everyone around who didn't see it originally all right so here we are dragonborn gallery um we've never seen this just outside the blue palace right there here in solitude it's a museum to basically display all your achievements and goodies and stuff like that and we've got some stuff. So for example, I put this painting up. I put that painting up. Go me. Donations box. Ooh. I will be taking that. I assume the gallery is a mod. Yes, it is. Yes, it is the Legacy of the Dragonborn. That's the name of the mod. So there's various displays. Like for example, there's Zephyr, Reaper's Bane. So stuff we've picked up along the way. There's all the Ysgrimoire items. The cloak, boots, armor, gauntles. Oh, you're here. I have some exciting news. A benefactor for the museum was impressed with the exhibits here and donated a relic from their personal collection. You can decide if you want to use it or place it right on display. All right. So, and you get these relics given to you. So what we just got was the Cleaver of St. Helms. It's over 30 points of Magicka and slows target movement for 10 seconds. Since we're a pure mage, we're not going to use it. But... Also, once you put items on display, you can actually pick them back up and take them. So it's not like they're just gone. So, for example, if I needed to get Dawn Fang here, I could. Edouge, Okim. Alder Black Blade, all this fun stuff. So we'll just do a quick little tour around. Some of the Cruder Seder stuff we picked up before. Now, keep buying. I still have a lot of stuff in my houses and all that. I, Jenna, I would have never switched to PC if it wasn't for, for me. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Ed, basically an upgrade hoarder's dream, indeed. Here's our masks, some claws we picked up for some weird reason. Uh, this one won't sit quite right on the display. Don't know why. It's a glitch, but I'm not complaining. Harkon Sword, Champion's Cudgel, all kinds of goodies. There's an upstairs in this first hall. Some Elder Scrolls sitting back there. Some unique daggers. Nothing's come there yet. Some different kinds of circlets. Different kinds of amulets. There's uh, places for rings. It might be kind of hard to see, but different rings we've picked up along the way. Gloves, pugilist, boots. Some more stuff. This is just a bench. Some other goodies. This will go out solitude. More potential displays. Blood's Bane. Since we are the Archmage, we have this Staff of Magnus, Archmage robes, Cello of Stone. Different uh, Dragon Priest staffs can go right there. All right, Hall of Natural Science coming in here. This is pretty much as it sounds. Natural science, plants, animals, things of that nature. There's some supplies. So if we would like to access different kinds of items, we can. Different displays can be built and made. Right now, I haven't really done much in here. But essentially, you can have, like, different uh, creatures, plants, animals, all that fun stuff. There is our good buddy, uh, Dernavir, or Odavir. Dernavir, whoops. Way up there. 
And some more stuff over this way. Obviously, some more displays. I'm gonna put up some paintings while I'm here. Oh, there's even stuff up there. So we'll just do some decorating while we're here. Because so we've picked up a number of paintings along the way. So this is basically what they're for. If you've ever seen, like in the videos, I pick up something that's painting, then this is what they're for. But I don't have any more in my inventory at the moment. Or storage. All right, we got a library. Basically, little displays for the treasure maps you can pick up. They're kind of wrapped around this side here. The how-to, aka skill books, spells, numerical titles, and then alphabetical ones. Okay. Nothing. Like more unique kind of titles. Hill. I don't have a dragon stone on me. See, like, here's one of the unique ones that we've picked up along the way. St. Jib's Opus, which we do have, just not on us. And then, downstairs further still. There's just various other books that can be displayed. General bookcases. It's like a little locked area for more unique titles. So this is Last Words, Brother of Darkness, Children of the Sky. There's a printing press, so you can actually make some stuff. So that's okay. I'm gonna come. It's starting to get a bit dusty in here. All right, so another display area. Somewhat empty in some locations. A little Reichling display. Fal Falmer display. Some other goodies there. We've got a Daedric gallery. So some various Daedric items. But of course, we don't have all of them by any means. But for some reason, like for example, this says skeleton key, but it's just a Daedric gauntlet. I'm not sure why it does that instead of actually displaying the real thing. Or like this, Ring of the Mira. Right, look whose head it is. Ring of Hercene. And essentially all of the, all of the Oblivion Walker stuff, the Daedric stuff that we picked up, are all back at one of my houses. But... Mirax sword, his staff, black books are all on display. Mirax robes and whatnot are not here because they're on us. <laughs> Boom, is there a star? Oh, I also finished, um, I don't know if any of you remember, the Keg Breaker quest. Basically, uh, we have to, you have to go make a new one, more or less a new hammer, uh, and then we got the Keg Breaker, and there it is. And it's a Daedric weapon. Daedric, Daedric. Oh, and stuff. Face. All right, moving on. So here, if you've ever seen me pick up jade items, this is where they ultimately will go. All kinds of little miscellaneous... Wait, where's the Aretino? I thought I saw it. There for a second. Aretino family heirloom would go there. I don't even know if we still have it. Various uh, coin stuff for when we make the decks. Eventually, they would go there. More coins. Paintings that are on the walls. Stuff like that. Vampire, this is a massive mod. Indeed, it is. Jetta, this is a really cool mod. Never looked into it before. Indeed! Or excuse me. Indeed! Indeed! Alright, so here is our safe house. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this. This is my first time seeing it. A key holder, some scrolls. Hello, hello, hello. So, different weapon racks. Light armors, two-handed. Heavy, two-handed. Rose crossbow, shields. Ah. Ah, yes, master, my the master's quarters. Fate card collection. Could I actually finally put these in there? Ah, this will be good. 48 hours later. Oh. They store all your different cloaks. That 
is cool. Alright, what else do we have? Oh. Get that dead. <laughs> Just full close. No big deal. Hey! As always, I'm in the game. Right there. Oh, right there. Make an appearance. How nice of the modders to put me in here. 